Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 2, episode 3 of The Sex Lives of College Girls. This time the title of the episode is The Short King. And yes, we are back. We are ready for a new episode of this uh, incredible show. I'm kind of behind. Like, um, th there are four new episodes for me to watch, which is amazing because I get to do a binge uh, for this next four episodes. I didn't catch uh with the previous two in time last week so i'm gonna do it right now and i hope you guys and everyone else enjoys my reactions for it so yeah this season the first two episodes were really promising like i i can see that uh the characters are growing things are changing but you know the uh bond between the girls are really you know becoming even more strong which i love so yeah let's see what's gonna happen on this episode i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys continue supporting for more give a lot of thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell Uncut reaction is always posted first on patreon in case you guys want to check that out link in the description down below probably by the time i'm posting this uh on youtube i'm already done with all you know caught up uh, up until episode six uh so yeah stay tuned for that and for now i think that's about it i hope you guys enjoy hope you guys like it and without further ado let's just begin with season two episode three of the sex lives of college girls here we go no, no, stop, no, oh oh come on I mean, no one needs to groan like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. This video you're making is embarrassing, not just for you, but for all of us. Um, Why? Why? No, she looks cute. Like reverse cat dog. What the hell is reverse cat uh, dog? Uh, like I me. You'd love it. I'll send you a link. <laughs> you're, you're family, you know? Wait, where are you going? Good luck. <laughs> I love that they're supporting Top? her. Zara. Oh. Skirt. Oh, for Seriously. fuck's sake. Hey, guys. Bella here. Big fan of your work. Should we move? <laughs> <laughs> We love, we love our girls. I take cards, I take cash. Quit playing, come get some. You got chips, run that. Bill, is your resistance at a zero? I'm not here to work out. I'm here to look at the crew team lift. They're so shredded and tall. It's like we had a bunch of hot, muscly scum. The crew team is coming, look hot, stick your tits out. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, you guys are. You guys are losers. Oh, hello. What's up? I'm the coxswain. I'll make sure the boat finishes first. The cock what? I can what? do the same for you. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, Shark King. Okay. Woo! Okay, we ready. We ready for that. We ready. <laughs> At first I was disappointed, but then I- That's for two. Oh, for fuck's sakes. At least she's being honest, you know. It sucks. What? Well, I can sell. Like, I can sell my. I can sell my ex for eighty thousand dollars. Where do I sell my ex? <laughs> Dude, it's eighty grand. What the fuck? Are you for real? No, they're from dating apps. Oh. Is it? Is it? Okay, who is? Yeah. Oh, y'all's girl. I finally. 30. What? Damn, lady. Damn. Two basketball teams. Great, I'd never slut shame you. In fact, I'd only shame you for not being enough of a slut. <laughs> okay, now, cause Thank this you. I'm gonna see you guys later. <laughs> hey, get some hotties number while you're in there. I love this, you know? I love. I love Bella because she's always going to support her girls, you know, so that's amazing. And like, go off, go off, Layton, go off. Got her looking all gorgeous. Oh, well, hello, good afternoon to her. Bless. Attention when the class actually starts. It started 30 minutes ago. Oh, shit. Do, you, do you have a pen? Shut up. Okay, but yeah, it, it, I mean, I understand the guy. He's there to learn, you know, so. Layton, are you in there with someone? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Hello. That was fun. Yeah. I will call you later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Look at them. They're so proud. 
stop looking at me like that. <laughs> you had a girl in there? The whole time? The bed because it is completely okay. okay <laughs> yeah. We're done here. I am going to dinner. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, you're impossible now. I love building my own possible. <laughs> I built wrong. Yeah, Aww. you used Terry Auction. It's like, okay, write me a novel, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love her. Yeah, what's wrong? <laughs> he just wrote, Bella, I don't want to. No. <laughs> Thrust. <laughs> He's right. Look. Yeah, that angle is like perfect. Can I stop? I fucking love them. I fucking love them. All of them. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to start eating in my room. Oh my God. So 20 years from now, your hot personal trainer says, I'm your son. Is oh. that why he took the job? Oh my God, you almost got your son. Okay, what if this is the only way Carolee can stay no. here? No! So, okay, but like, this is not a shame for guys to do this when they donate a sperm. It's a lot more difficult for women to do it. They have to take hormones and things like that. It's not only like, in there we go, go swimmers. But like, shouldn't we have the same option? I feel, because honestly, $80,000 is a life-changing amount. And it could say change someone else's life that need that fucking egg, you know? I'm not using them. I just think you should do some research so you know what you're getting into. And if True. you do it and end up being the thing. Well, maybe I already found something and maybe I'm going to kick its ass. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh. Hi. Okay, like, go off, go off, girl. Yeah. Oh, okay, go off. It's that good. It's everything. My girls and Dan knows what's up. So glad you. My girls and Dan know what's up. That's so true, though. That's so true, though. <laughs> Have a nice connection with him. No, I'm talking about his dick. Oh. Scientifically superior. On some details of my recent hookups. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I have been praying for this. Yes, yes. okay, okay, but okay. Pay attention because I am never doing this again. Okay. Here's the lineup. I'm going to start a Google Doc. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Stephanie's out. August is when I have dairy. Oh, that's uh, uh. Do not let her in. Yes, Kimberly. <laughs> Dan funded me on Goodreads and I want to accept. Do not accept. I already did. <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> okay, girl. She should have done this from the get go. <laughs> okay, so we don't have any more problems. But like, go off, I like the fact that she is like, exploring out there. Go off, Layton. Eric, sweetie, you're not a short king. You're like a nerd prince. You're like a straight twink. <laughs> straight twink is definitely not how I see myself. You gotta are, though. Are thick and meaty. They're not guys who get pushed away by the wind. I'm just one time and you let it go. Who's the short king? Hold up, right through that. Oh, he's Thanks. sweet. He's Thank sweet. You. Is he he's sweet? Like, he's hot. And now he's sweet as well. Don't drag out fight. I guess a girl named Molly brought Layton some flowers. But then oh, shit. Molly and Jess showed up at the same time, and Molly and Jess had history, and Layton either knew or she didn't. Oh, <laughs> man, out of our way. I can't believe I brought you pee. I only uh, slept with Molly once. So it happens, it happens. Sometimes it happens. It makes me... It's bound to happen. <laughs> if you have watched the L word, it's bound to happen. We're not together. Return your underwear. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. The plot thickens. Hey, Molly. Layton, I didn't know you knew my ex. Oh, you guys dated too? I love this. <laughs> this is the L word. Everyone this is the L word. Layton can bang who she wants. This is yes. not Bridgerton. Everybody. <laughs> hustle. Hustle. Yeah, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And why yes. the hell are you two here anyway? Oh. Change our locks. Did you give anyone a key? <laughs> <laughs> I love that Whitney's there supporting her. Oh, God. Here we go. Nucleus, I'm gonna run circles around your ass. I'll go off with the yes. <laughs> Did I get that right? <laughs> I love them so fucking much. She's out. Oh, what's happening? Hey, okay, Layton, you've tested positive for chlamydia. What? No, I've only been with women recently, so that's actually impossible. <laughs> it's actually very possible and something you should contact all your recent partners about. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, guys, so that was the end of season two.
episode three of the sex lives of college girls. And this one was the short king. Look. Look. He was a short king for sure. Like, was he even cuter than the nerdy guy that she seems to be, like, that Bella seems to be falling in love with? Hell yes. Like, the only thing he has going on is the nerdy thing. You know, but the other... <sighs> gorgeous. The other guy, gorgeous. Um, but anyways, I really enjoy this episode. I think it was fine. You know, I kind of feel for, you know, for, for Kimberly, for the struggles that she has to make. You know, uh, and that it seems like her only option is right now to possibly sell her ex. Which is a very, you know, a very important decision. But I feel that in, in, in comedy, in, in drama shows and things like, you know, media in general, the use of like guys just jerking off and donating their sperm for research or for whatever, it's such a common thing, you know, because it's just like, you know, and there we go. Um, and it's not so frowned upon. So why wouldn't this be the same thing? Though it's not the same because it's not as easy as just having an orgasm and that that is it. You know, you have to take uh, medicines and you do go through like a surgery type of thing to actually get the eggs removed uh, from your body. And there is this whole hormonal thing change and everything. So it's something that you really th need to think about. You know, you really need to think about because you're put putting your body through all of this. Now, the result of it at the end of the day should be and should have the same impact as a guy donating their sperm, right? She's not donating a baby. You know, she's not putting a baby up for adoption. She's donating her eggs. The eggs are not alive yet. It's part of, but not alive. Just as the guy donating their sperm, right? So, if you're not using it, <laughs> and you're gonna get some money out of it, then why not, right? I mean, it's a big decision. Yes, I understand. Mostly because it's, it's, it, it's going to change you physically. Because you have to go through a lot to actually get viable eggs so they can be removed um so for that i do i will try to uh make kimberly understand that that process as long i don't know how long it takes but it's going to you know make you moody and like you know it's going to you know change uh your day-to-day -day life uh, for as long as it it goes after that you i am pretty much I, I think that you go back to normal right but it shouldn't matter like what the end result of those X turn out to be whether if they are going to help uh, a family if they're going for research for whatever I mean it's like it's like you donate blood like right it's not as simple again but it shouldn't it shouldn't she's not donating a life she's not you know giving up a baby or anything like that so why not right I was actually, you know, when I read $80,000, I was like, I am wasting minds. <laughs> I might do this. It's 80 grand. I mean, I'm not as young, okay, as Kimberly. But I'm still producing some, okay? So why not? <laughs> Maybe I'm not in the right age. Whatever. But if I was, I don't know. I, I, I will think, I, and I wouldn't have the thought of like, maybe I will find my son or daughter i don't i don't i wouldn't feel it that way you know what i mean i don't know maybe that's just me um but i feel for kimberly they has to resort to this type of things to kind of like to 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 stay at school because that's her dream that's what she wants you know so we'll see if she figures out or not layton layton my girl is having the time of her life but apparently she's not using proper care now, correct me if I'm wrong. There is a lot of information about how to protect yourself from STDs and f from, 
you know, unwanted pregnancy. Not that between two women you can get someone pregnant. But there's a lot of information about straight sex, how to protect yourself, right? There's a lot of information. Not so many, not so much about lesbian sex and about, well, about gay sex, maybe, because it's a condom, right? But, like, still, you know what I mean? So, for Leighton to not know that she could have gotten chlamydia, because she was like, it's basically impossible because I am only dating women. But for her to have it, it's kind of like, you know, it, it opens your mind on like, oh, yes, these are the risks of having unprotected sex or to be, you know, pretty much fucking the entire school. Which is like, go off. I am like, okay with her doing that. But she has to protect herself and she has to, you know, because she can catch... It could be this time could have been chlamydia, it could have been HIV, it could have been a lot of things, and we don't want that for her. We want her to live a very healthy sex life, right? So let's see how the hell did she did that happen and how she got it, and now she has to talk to all I don't know, 10, 12 ladies she was sleeping with that she has it so they can get tested, so this doesn't turn into like COVID. Uh, 3.0 oh, or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens there, right? Um, uh, 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 what else happened on this episode? Well, Whitney going for, for a class that apparently no one thinks that she will be good at, but for her to be persistent, we love that. We love that. She got a fucking 62 and she has not had any interest in science before and I take that as a fucking win okay Bella was there just like you know she's looking for more um uh <laughs> more material for her comedic comedic thing that she comedy thing that she's doing um and she's but she's staying there for Whitney and I love that I love the bonding between all of them um, and I hate that she is seen, like, that Whitney is seen as the token soccer player or whatever, you know. And even her mom, for her to be like, girl, your life is easy. Like, you want a job with Obama? You want to do this or that? I can get it for you. Well, maybe she doesn't want your help in that aspect. She wants to be, and she wants to feel, you know, like she can take on the world herself, you know. So, fuck it. You know, she doesn't need anything ha being handed to her. And I think she's finding herself like that. And I think that's that's beautiful, you know. Um, Bella fucking the, the short king. We live for that. Do I like the fact that she seems to be falling in love with the nerdy guy? Not that much. I'm not that big of a fan of him. But, hmm, you know. Um, hopefully, that get, like she gets past that. You know, hopefully. Um, and yeah, yeah, you know, our girls are doing great and more adventures to come, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm excited for the next episode. The title of the next episode is actually very exciting, which is titled, it's, it's titled, Will You Be My Girlfriend? And it has Whitney uh, on the thumbnail. So is, is it Cannon asking her to be his girlfriend or is Layton asking someone to be her girlfriend? We don't know. We don't know yet. Oh, and also the, the tall, blonde guy that lives next door. Like, the fact that he's sweet has, has made him even more, like, extremely hotter. Right? Because he's, like, mindful, but also hot, you know? So, yes. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, really liked this episode. And I hope you guys liked it as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut Reaction is always posted first on Patreon. So in case you guys want to check that out, link as always will be in the description down below. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. And for now, that's about it. Thank you for, so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the sex lives of college girls. That's it. Bye, guys.